Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to this video tutorial series on database programming with Python. In this video, we will see how we can execute an Oracle function from a Python script. Let's hop on to Visual Studio Code. You can choose any ID of your choice. I'll create a file called execute function example example dot by python file i will start coding over here on my sql developer i have a function which is called add integers and i take two inputs number one and number two and basically i just return a number which is sum of the two inputs provided so let's write a python script to execute this function so first of all i'll import the necessary package in this case it is cx oracle and then i'll have some try block to try out a connection if that fails i want to handle it in accept block if that works out if the connection is created successfully i'll have some code in the else block because else is executed only if the try block executes without any error so if the connection will get created in the else block i'll have the all the code to execute the function and the finally i'll just close the connection that i create so let's start with it i'll take a variable called as con and create a cx underscore oracle dot connect using the connect method i'll just create a connection you need to pass on your connection string oracle connection string over here this will be the connection string that you use to connect to the database if you ever connected to a database using SQL blocks or CM or the command prompt. Over here it's username slash password at the rate the server colon the port and at the at the SID that is ORCL. So once the connection is created, say suppose I get any exceptions, I just would like to print the message exception occurred while creating a connection and then i would like to see the error message as well so i'll take it in an exception as error give a variable to it to the exception message and show it here if everything is well fine then the next code that will be executed will be in the else block but at the end in the finally i would like to close the connection if everything goes fine finally block will always get executed no matter what happens to the above code so at the end i want the connection to close so in the try block now i'll try and execute the function i'll have some exception handling here as well this may seem a bit complicated but i'll tell you once you get a hang of using try catch exception finally you will you will be at peace you will be really using it to the full extent because there's no more if conditions to write i no more need to check if the connection is created if it is in the else block means the connection was created successfully and now i can go on and create a cursor so i'll take a variable called a scur and with the connection i'll create a cursor so once I have the cursor created, the next thing would be to actually call the function, execute the function using the cursor. But there is a difference between a procedure and a function. There are lots of differences. I have a video on it to look if you want to know more about difference between a procedure and a function. But the basic difference between a procedure and a function is that a procedure may or may not return something, but a function would definitely return something. So you need a variable to store the return value from the function. So I'll call it result. So I'll say result is equal to the cursor variable and the method to execute a function is called call func. Yes, that is the method name call func. We would expect Oracle to give better names, but okay, whatever it is. So the first input to the call func method would be the function name. In this case, add integer. The second input, would actually be i'll just paste it over here it's 
add integer. The second input would actually be the data type that is being returned. So here I'm giving it integer. This integer is basically a data type of Python. And then you need to give in any input parameters if it has. So here we expect two input parameters to the function because we are adding two numbers. So what I'll do is for these two input parameters, I'll create a list. Now you can just give in the input parameters here itself, but I'll create a list called data to, so that it looks clean. And in the list, let's say 10 and 11. And I'll just pass in the data list over here. Now, as I was saying, this integer is actually a Python data type. Say, suppose you are talking with, you are working with any such data type, which, which is not there in Python, which would be really rare. But say, suppose it is like blob or club. In that case, Python may not be able to understand it. In that case, there are various, various mappings between the Python data type and the Oracle data type. And if a mapping is not present, there will be data types with within the CX Oracle package. So you can just go through the link of Oracle, uh, the Oracle module CX Oracle, and mostly all of the data types are mapped. So integer, so number in Oracle will be mapped to integer in, in Python. Similarly, varchar2 will be mapped to the string uh, data type in Python. So you don't need to really worry about them. But if there are any specific ones, you would have to go through the mapping page and uh, mapping page of the Python data type and the Oracle data type on the uh, official CX Oracle modules page. So I'll just put a link to that web page so that if you guys are using any such data types and it will be easy for you to find. In this case, it is just integer being returned so we'll we'll say call function the function name the data type that it returns and the input variables and we hope that result will have that uh, thing that we hope for say suppose we get some errors while executing it let's catch those errors let's give them an alias of err and we'll just print it that an exception occurred while executing the function and this is the exception the error message actually and if everything is fine then i would like to see the result result and we'll just give the result over here the result variable over here and then we'll close the connection object and then Actually, we should be closing the connection object in the finally block because here actually the things are completed. So no matter what, we would like to close the connection uh, object and at the end close the... Uh, here we would like to close the cursor object and then we would like to close the connection object. So this is how it would all come down to. Let's see. I just save the code and let's execute the same running. So it is saying there is some error, there is some syntax error that has happened. Let's read the code and see what is the syntax error over here. It looks like I somehow came into the Python terminal. I'll just exit it. It says else has some issues. Let us execute again and see. So it has gone inside the function file and it has actually returned the result as 21. So there was not really an exception. I just would be doing something with Python. So you can also access your Python terminal from here. It is basically like your command prompt. So I may be inside this Python terminal when I executed the function and hence it failed because it was not able to execute this, this command. So as you can see, the the whole program got executed and we got the output as 21. So if you run through the code once again, you take import the required module, you create a connection, you create a cursor, and you use the call func method to execute the function. And at the end, when you run it, 
let's run it for 211 you will get an output of 22 and here you can see we get an output of result 22 so this is how you can execute oracle functions from python script i hope this was helpful please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section